Well, Papua New Guinea will begin to forcibly remove hundreds of asylum seekers from the Manus Island Detention Center, which has been closed. The immigration minister says authorities will take steps to make the group leave the Australian-run facility. The asylum seekers had been given until Monday morning to leave. They're refusing to do so because they say the community they're being moved to is unsafe. Well, for more on this, barrister and refugee advocate Julian Burnside can join us live from Melbourne. Thanks so much uh, for taking the time to talk to us. First, help us understand exactly what these men remaining in the camp are genuinely afraid of and why haven't Australian authorities at least addressed those fears? They're afraid of being attacked by PNG locals. The um, PNG locals on Manus Island do not like the refugees who are in the detention centre, processing centre, and uh, a number of the refugees have been attacked if they've gone out in public. The place they're told to move to is called Lorengau on the opposite side of Manus Island, and a number of locals at Lorengau have attacked refugees who have gone there. So what is then the current situation of those who have been removed from Manus? Are, are they in a better situation now, and why is that not being offered to the men that are still in Manus Detention Centre? Um, to be candid, I don't know what has happened in the last 24 hours, but um, the, I mean, they're all fearful of going to Lorengau because they're aware that some people have been attacked. Now, you don't want to wait until you're attacked in order to find out whether that threat is going to be real for you. Um, a couple of hundred people have now left the processing centre at Lombrum. Uh, and have moved presumably to Lorengar. Of course, the other problem is that there are three separate facilities in Lorengar designed to take these people, and two of them are simply not ready. They do not have enough accommodation for the number of people who were being held in the Lombrum detention centre. But as at today, my understanding is that the PNG armed services have gone into the processing centre and have um, taken further steps to disable the water supply. Uh, they are doing everything they can to make it unlivable. And uh, the, the irony of all this, of course, is that the, all of the people held on Manus uh, arrived in Australia asking to be protected from persecution, and Australia has taken them to a place where they no longer feel safe. Now, that's a fairly bizarre way to treat people who ask so for protection. What are the options then for the Australian government? What should they be doing with these refugees? What can they do with these refugees given their resources? What they should be doing is bringing them all into Australia and um, making them safe. But they keep on saying, well, the boats will start coming again with refugees. We never had so many um, refugees arriving, so I don't know why they're frightened of that. But the alternative is to allow them to go to New Zealand. New Zealand has repeatedly offered to take 150 of them. Australia blocked that, and Australia is continuing to block the possibility of New Zealand taking and protecting 150 people. On from, what grounds? Uh, and Oh, we, we don't state any ground. I think, I think the, the reasoning of the Australian government is this. Um, if, people go to, if people are taken to New Zealand, uh, once they become New Zealand citizens, they'll be able to travel freely to Australia because travel between the two countries is relatively unrestricted. And if that happens, then people will see going to uh, Manus Island and then New Zealand is a back doorway into Australia. I, I've never heard anything so stupid in my life. Okay. I mean, politicians say some stupid things, but really, when you think about it, I don't think many people are going to think, well, sweltering it out for four years in misery in Manus Island is a good way to get into Australia. Okay. Julian Burnside, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from Melbourne.